I'm going to show you how to beat the Sarah Tabamak Shrine, the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. That shrine is right here on the map, Sarah Tabamak Shrine. Uh, this one is kind of weird. It's on Hyrule Castle. When you go here, it like you are you stuck on Hyrule Castle. You can't you can't like move your map out from this. I don't think. Oh, wait, there's a button for world map. There we go. Oh, okay, right there. So back outside of Hyrule Castle, it's up here, and it's an easy way to teleport back to Hyrule Castle whenever you want to. Now let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to show you how to solve all the puzzles and get the chest inside of this shrine. So this shrine is also called the Way Up. So you're going to come into here and you're going to use Ultra Hand. You're going to grab this. You're going to put it up here. And then you're going to go underneath of it. And you're going to use Ascend. Then you're going to head over into this one. You're going to use Ultra Hand again. You're going to take this. And you're going to attach it on the end to that one. Then you're going to take this. You're going to get it upright like this. And then you're going to wedge it over into here. Roughly like that. Then you can ascend up into it. Then you're going to go over here and you're going to take... Whoa. You're going to use Alter Hand and you're going to take this. And you're going to put it on that one like that. And then you're going to take this one. And you're going to do the same thing on the other end. Okay, then you're going to take this. And you're going to rotate it like this. And then you're going to go over here and you're going to put it over there. Jump. Well, that's great. Okay, good. Jump across. Use Ascend. And that's how you get the chest. Inside the chest is a magic wa uh, rod, I mean, which is very interesting. I definitely actually want to take that. I've never seen one of these in the entire game. Then we're going to go over here. We're going to use Ultra Hand again. We're going to grab this. We're going to bring it over here, and then we're going to shake the big piece loose. And then we're going to rotate it sideways, flip it like that, rotate it back, flip it again, and then put it over like this. And then we're going to take this, and we're going to make a wedge shape like this. And then, I didn't mean to throw my sword. Then we're going to use Alter Hand again. And we're going to take it like this. And we're going to, okay, we can't actually quite get it up there. So uh, what we're going to do actually is we're going to do this in two pieces. So we're going to, uh, where did I just, how did I just get spun? Okay, so we're going to take this and we're just going to set it on one side. And then we're going to take this and we're also going to set it on one side. And then on the other side, we're going to use Ascend. Then up here, we're going to reassemble it. And then we're going to put it uh, over here like that. And then we can use Ascend. And then we can jump up here to the final part of the shrine. So there you guys go. I'm not even going to try to say the name of the shrine again because without seeing the word in front of me, I don't even know how to pronounce it. But now you know how to do this shrine. Hopefully that helped you out. Now you know how to do all the puzzles, how to get the magic rod from the chest, and get the light of blessing in this shrine in The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom.